What's up, everybody? Welcome to Disney News Weekly. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about Incredibles 2, the D23 Expo, and Disney March Madness. Hold on to your butts. Welcome to Popcorn Talk, featuring movie discussion, news, and interviews. Popcorn Talk, we talk movies. And now, here's Popcorn Talk's Disney Movie News. Disney News Weekly. Disney News Weekly. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's date night here on Disney News Weekly. I'm Sarah. And I'm Leo. This is my beef, Leo. What's and up? Uh, we're ready to talk lots of Disney news here on the Popcorn yeah. Talk. Shout out to Disney Film Facts for saying, dang, I'm still in awe over that logo. You flatter me too much, my dude. Before we get started, everyone give this video a thumbs up. And, of course, follow the Popcorn Talk on YouTube at Popcorn Talk Network and on Twitter at Popcorn talk. Accurate. Do that. And what about uh, you though? What about no, we don't do that anymore. We don't do that anymore? Um I just said my name's Sarah and that's all I need to know. I got a Mickey shirt on. That's uh on brand. On brand, Leo's not on brand, I'm okay. uh, Harry Potter. Remember what we talked about last week? Yeah. Unofficially on brand. Um we got so much I like I was so excited about the news that I was like, Leo, can I host tonight? She did do that. That is uh I can fact check that. Um, it's, it's like gonna a, lot be a fun of night. Little news, but like stuff that I'm excited also, about. Also, we're a little bit interactive tonight. We have something that we want to run with you guys. Uh, if you guys seen this Disney bracket going around or, uh, about what Disney movie is the best Disney movie, uh, you can actually go online and get it and fill it out for yourself and play along with us a little bit later in the show. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go grab that right now, just type in uh, Disney bracket. Disney movie I'm bracket. sure you guys have seen It'll it. Come I'm up. sure you yeah. guys have already filled it's it. It's been out. spreading around the Disney the Disney verse. Yeah, but first. There was a new poster mm. this week released for The Incredibles 2, and I love it. Mm. Have you it's seen this, pretty. Leo? Yes, I have. The tan lines on the face. Isn't it cute? But it's weird because the movie's not about them going on vacation. It's about summer. But the poster to me the says summer uh, vacation. Like The movie is about summer? It, it comes out in the summer. Right. That's the point of this poster. It's like, this summer, The Incredibles are back. June 15th. Right. But the poster's like, and they're going to Hawaii, but, but we don't know. Well, I think it's just supposed to be like, oh, look, they're that. like, they're fighting crime together as a family, you know? I get it. I get it. It's just a little misleading, in my opinion. What does the tech say? It's going that to be know. an incredible summer. It could very possibly be that they are going on vacation in the movie. Who knows? They might. Um, I don't know. We don't know. Um, I know nothing. I but uh, so my friend pointed out that there's some Disney concept art uh, that features. The Incredibles, like, it's almost the exact same art. It just seems like they updated it to, like, better CGI and, like, added the mask tan lines. But, like, they already had this art done. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's actually really interesting. It's in, uh, and I have the same box, but I never, um, sorry, I didn't include it or anything. Um, it's in this postcard box of Pixar concept art. That's cool. Yeah. Interesting. But, I mean, it's great. Violet looked very different before. Vi uh, Violet. Pixar, please confirm. Please give us a call here at uh, Disney News Weekly and let us know what the truth is. We want to. I like it though. I'm into it. It's cute. I like it. I just think it's kind of like, well, is, are they going? To, is this movie about vacation? Yeah. I mean, that's not what I thought when I saw it. I just was like, summer. summer. Really? Summer. Summer to me summer. is like barbecue. Summer. Not like luau. He's wearing a Hawaiian shirt. She's got a. a they've got lays on, and like they, they're tanned. It's like Hawaii. And look at the background. They're literally in Hawaii. But we don't know where they are. They could be in any tropical you place. You ever seen a beach like that in California? No. No, no, no. But, like, remember in, uh, in The Incredibles 1, they go to, like, he goes to that So island. they're going on vacation is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> he goes to that island, like, all the time mm. to fight robots. All the time. Yeah, he buys a summer condo. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah. You got something got to that? say? I've got something to say to you guys. Cold reading this bad boy here. I've got a question for everyone in the chat. <clears throat> and everyone listening at home on the podcast. You want to have fun, learn, and grow in all areas of your life? Well, for those of you who do, <laughs> have we got the podcast for you. Conversations with Maria Menounos. Menounos. Just get that right, guys. Maria Menounos, podcast edition. It's hosted by our After Buzz TV founder, and it drops every Friday on iTunes. Conversations with Maria Menounos features celebrity and influencer interviews, along with secrets and tips on how to feel better in all every single aspect of your life. So if you want to improve, every Friday, hang out with Maria Menounos on these interviews. From health and wellness to career and relationship, finances and more, let our Maria be the big sister you've always wanted. Unless you have a big sister and you really like her, then Maria will be better than your current big oh sister. God. Just want to put that out there. Just go to iTunes and, and subscribe to, conver to Conversations with Maria Menounos 
absolutely free. Be sure to rate and comment, and when you do, let Maria know it was us that sent you there. Specifically, Leo, that'd be cool, say Leo from Disney News Weekly <laughs> sent me. Um, he's a really good homie. Uh, and she'll be like, oh my god, Leo, he's so sweet. I met him at the Christmas party. Conversations with Maria Menounos, podcast edition. Check it out, please, guys. Uh, Maria is kind enough to let us have this show on here. Thank you for that, Maria. We really appreciate it. So we hope you guys will check out her podcast. And now back to your regularly scheduled Disney News. I bet a lot of people didn't even know that this show is founded by Maria Menounos. Maria Menounos, yeah. You guys have seen her. You remember, you know when you go to the theaters? First look. And you're sitting there, it's like, here's the first look. AMC first look on Game of Thrones. That's our girl. That's our girl. Every time she comes on, I go see a movie, I'm like, that's my boss. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Someone was pointing out that Disney World announced incredible summer events leading up to it. Incredibles 2. Okay, I'll take it. Just saying. Um, but that isn't the only movie we got new posters for. Infinity War has mm. five new posters. Oh, by the way, someone's pointing out Maria Menounos was part of E. She was on E Entertainment. I think she was a host on, on yeah. E News. Yeah. Forever. Forever and ever. Here's but these Avengers posters. got new posters, yeah. A lot of people are speculating about what it means that these characters are split up. So here on this one we have Shuri. It means that Captain America and Bucky have chosen the cool team. That's what yeah. it means. Cap, Bucky, Shuri... Uh, Nebula and Mantis, and then on the next one mm. is the purple team. Yeah, Thor, Star Lord, Gamora, Groot. It's like almost all of the Guardians, and then Thor. If you want to ship Star Lord and Thor, you would call him Star Thor. We do see. Remember in that clip when he's like, "Who are you guys?" Mm-hmm. That's when I shipped him. So like that maybe makes sense. And awesome. then on the green one, it's Black Widow, Black Panther. Oh. What? Scroll? Black Widow scroll. Oh, you yeah, think scroll. so? Yeah, yeah everyone thinks so. It's because green, that's true. Uh, wh- uh, Black Widow, Black Panther, Black Hulk, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and Okoye. Um, and then on Team Yellow, we have Scarlet Witch Vision. Uh, looks like War, uh, War Machine. Anthony Mackie. And, uh, and Don Cheadle. Yeah. <laughs> not, they're not superheroes, they're just them. They're just guys. And then Team Red is Tony. Strange, Spidey. Spidey. This is the best team, clearly. What's, what does uh, it what's mean? His name? What's his, uh, what's his, uh, what's his... The guy from Doctor Strange? Yeah, I forgot I his know. name. I hate that movie. We know. Okay, we know. Doesn't mean you have to hate the character. What do we think it means? Uh, I think it means that they needed to make posters. Someone says, I heard they were all them. matched with each stone. Oh, that's it. That's, that's true. Um, mm. Okay, so wait, wait, what's blue? Which one's blue? Let's go through the. Hold on, let me let me look this up. Uh, infinity. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> I just saw that zoom in. Uh, is all of red team gonna die? Oh, infinity stone colors. Yeah, it's basically like an episode of uh, guts or no, because uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Spidey isn't gonna die, so no red team. Well, you don't know. No, he signed dies on in the for comics. like ten Spoiler movies. Alert. Yeah, maybe as a ghost like Obi Wan, you can't listen. Okay, oh my God. you can't. Wong, you can't be his sure. name is Wong. Wong, that's what it is. Um, hold on, I found it. Okay, so red is red is the mind gem, and these are all people that use their mind. They're all smart people. Right. Tony Strange and Spider Man are all geniuses. Yeah, because Hulk. Wong also, not smart at all. No, he's a dumb. And dumb. Shuri. Well, let's go to the next not color. The go to the next color. Let's see what we can see. So yellow is the power gem, um, which the power is the gem, one in his head. It, it gives him power. Um, I guess that Falcon and War Machine are powerful, and the Scarlet Witch has pa- like mutant power type powers. The way I took it was that their, their their suits give them power, but they're actually just human. No, no, because because Vision is a, is a robot. No, uh, sorry, referring to uh, what was his name? Oh, their suits Falcon. give them power. Falcon yeah. And, uh, Don Cheadle. Yeah. True, 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 true. Don Cheadle. We can ne- we can't ever give them the real names. The cheats. Um, okay, what else we got? What's the other one? Green is the Space Gem, uh, which uh, okay, I, I give up. <laughs> the and Hulk the is Wong. green. Yeah. She's a scroll. I don't know. She's a scroll. The Black Panther. Maybe it is, means they made nothing. the most money. They made a ton of money opening green. day. Green, green, green. Ragnarok. And then purple is the soul gem because uh, they listen to soul music. And um, Thor Ragnarok had a lot of soul to it, and that's why it was popular. And so does the Guardians. Guardians has a lot of soul. Yeah, those are movies Ooga with soul. Chaka, Ooga, and then Ooga, blue Ooga, is Ooga, the Chaka. time gem, and uh, their time is up, if you know what I'm saying. I don't and know also, what Bucky and uh, Buck. Captain are like timeless. Remedies. Timeless. They've yeah. been. They're. They're from the old times. Yeah, exactly. And Shuri, uh, she ain't got time for them shoes. <laughs> you know what I'm she saying? She ain't got time for colonizers. No. All right, but we didn't. Uh, there's no representation of the reality. Uh, Vision has the Mind Stone. Everyone's like, 
<clears throat> Does it, yeah, he has a mind step stone Not in power. his. Well, I'm. Well, no, he's on the yellow. They poster. said in the MCU. Oh, oh, in the actual. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he has the mind. Uh, no, he has the. All right, whatever. I don't care, honestly. Honestly, it's too confusing. <laughs> I wanted to theorize, but now I don't. I quit. <laughs> moving on. Um, yeah, they're cool on. posters, they're but right. moving on. Right. Leo. Yes. They announced D twenty three expo dates for twenty nineteen. <gasps> Tell me. Tell me there what you're going to tell me. August 23rd to 25th at the Anaheim Convention Center. Dope. That's all. I was at WonderCon this last weekend, and everyone was asking me, um, dude, you going to D23 this year? I'm like, dude, it's every other year. I'm so surprised that people don't know that, because Disney didn't become trendy until, like, the last D- D23. I know. It's really weird for me to see, like, con- like regular convention goers, like, talk about D23 like it's, like, part of the con circuit because mm-hmm. it is now but it feels so separate to me give it back to us stop trying to you know what i mean yeah like i've been going since 2009 when none of y'all were there pretentious disney fan over here remember when you tried to meet me in 2013 yeah i didn't try to meet you i just knew you were there and i was like i wonder what i became i did. literally became single like the day, the day before. before and you were like i'm on the hunt i was like ooh, like Tracy Hines is here. I wonder if that cute guy will be with her. That's good enough. I'll take it. And then every night at my friend's house when I was staying near Anaheim, I we was like stalking. liking all Leo's pics and he was liking all mine. But we didn't we didn't meet up till I was after. Like, mm, those are some short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> you had a picture of the short shorts. It was summer and you were Mickey and I was like, look at them gams. Oh, that was after D twenty three. Oh sorry. I yeah. apologize. Anyway, um it's like Becoming real. <laughs> it's what do you mean it's becoming real? Like it's D23? just twenty three. It feels like it just happened, but also it feels like it's so close again. Yeah, yeah, and it's also like one of those things where, you know, because it's not like other cons. You no. know, like it's so different. And everyone's like, "Are oh, you gonna go?" I'm like, what, "Why?" I mean, I'm not saying people shouldn't go. Obviously, first of all, why wouldn't you be going? <laughs> yeah, first of like, all, like of course you're gonna go. But it's like, yeah, especially like I'm like I've been claim I've been clinging to this Disney game for a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, people are just like, I just want to go to cosplay, and that's cool. But I'm like, leave the tickets because this is like a fans convention. Right. It's like the only convention where I go to like panels like all day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, but um, I'm hyped. Speaking of conventions, WonderCon was this weekend. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and next weekend is PAX East, mm-hmm. which I'll be at. So if any yeah. of you guys are going to be at PAX East, hit me up. And then um, uh, what else? What else? We- that's it. That's all my convention news. Oh, I do. I, I do want to say one thing. Uh, speaking of upcoming things, tomorrow, I am actually going to be on um, the Decast. So, if I, they might have been like saving that as a surprise. No, they literally have been tweeting okay, it for like the last okay, two days, okay, and they posted okay, it on okay, Instagram okay, and they put it in their story. Okay, okay, it's fine. Okay. Uh, the reason I mention it is because they want to know if you guys have any questions for me. So make sure you go on Twitter, follow uh, at the Decast, and tweet them questions so that I can answer them on the podcast tomorrow. That would be spectacular. Continue. Anyway, you may continue. Um, now we're going to talk about the Disney bracket. <gasps> Ooh, the Disney bracket. Um, so, which by the way, I've been like, I'm like, this is not. Leah's been avoiding this. I've been avoiding it. Sarah made me do it before the show, because, can I just say, our thoughts at the very beginning? Sure. Because I was like, well, what's the point? The Lion King is always the winner. Yeah. The Lion King is the <laughs> best. Guys, look, I love Disney. I love all the Disney movies. I love Pixar. I love all the Pixars. But Lion King is arguably the best Disney movie of all time. Mm-hmm. It is like the perfection of the Renaissance trial and error period. It is like the launch of a furry generation. It mm-hmm. is like the movie. I mean, Elton John did like all the. It's like the <laughs> movie. And I, it's like the most perfect Disney animated film. Lion King is neither. It's not of even our my favorite, favorite movie. We objectively both agree that it's so far above any other yeah. Disney animated movie in ter- that it can't terms even of, be a part of the discussion. In terms of execution and... Plot, pacing, plot characters, and- music, animation, everything. Bam, 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 bam. Too many reasons. Anyway, so the first bracket that kind of went Disney viral is... No, the other one. That see, one. See, here's the thing. 
And people, I think the bracket is supposed to be based on your favorites, right? But we like can't help but do it objectively. Well, we I think you're supposed to do it objectively. I don't oh, know. Well, people are feeling case, it differently. This is the first one, and people had issues with it because the pairings are weird. Some of them are like, but it doesn't matter because ultimately the pairings are in, are are it's irrelevant because like the putting, best movie should come out on top. Putting Moana and Frozen against it's just like people had issues, and so a friend of ours made this new version. His name is Adam Earnhardt. And he made it, you probably can't read the text on the bottom, but it says the rankings are set up based on their Rotten Tomatoes score and their worldwide box office adjusted for inflation. So it's like a much better, like equal movies are like paired up against each other on mm -hmm, this one. Mm -hmm. So it's like better. Some of them are kind of like, oh, dang. But, right. But so, I, I've been in enough tournaments to know that uh, seeds only matter if there's a skill set. And there's no skill set here. It's just like objective. Who, what's better? A lot of people I are filling it out in different ways. I was talking to this, uh, about this with some friends on um, Twitter because some people are basing it off. Like some people are taking into th things into consideration that I I never would take into consideration, like parks influence and like oh. just like random things. That I mean, I wasn't... you can do it in those ways, but I filled it out. What's the better movie, in my opinion? Yeah, I filled it out based on just like the movie. Yeah. Of so, course, it's all. Of course, that is a subjective analysis. Ultimately, because I might think a movie is better that someone else might not. But um, but should we go through these? Um, like quickly, yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, Nemo versus Cars. Nemo. I gave it to Nemo. Yeah. Yes. Monsters Inc. Monst Toy Story. Monsters Inc. I did Toy Story. Mm. That's fair. That's fair. I I just. You I might think, be right. No, no, no. Here's the thing. I do think Toy Story is is an. I think it might be the better movie. It's also a trailblazing movie. Mm -hmm. Monsters Inc. to me though is not just like an accomplishment in CGI, but also like a great comedy. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Either way, Finding Nemo would be Monsters or Toy Story for me. Not to me. I gave Monsters. You gave Inc. it the Monsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although, 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 I, I can, I can. Finding Nemo goes really far for me. Anyway. Monsters Inc. made it all the way to the end. To Incredibles me. over Bugs Life. Um, Incredibles over both. Oh, yeah. Toy Story 2 over Ratatouille. Yes. Incredibles over Toy Story 2. Yes. Yes. So then I had Finding Nemo beating Incredibles. See, I had Monsters, Inc. beating Incredibles. Finding Nemo is just like such a good Pixar movie. It really, really is. But I think that Monsters, Inc. is, I don't know, I think that that world feels, I feel the world is better crafted. And the characters are a little bit more memorable than Finding Nemo. God, but like Dory is like the most famous Pixar character. Yeah, but Mike maybe. Wazowski. I think Dory is more famous than Mike Wazowski. Quite, well, maybe I truly maybe do. in kids. But but I think that Mike Wazowski. Oh, they're both good characters. They're both. They're but really also, like, equal. Got, but also like you've got then you've got Boo and Sully, and it's like the 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 accompanying cast is stronger overall than just Dory and Nemo. You know, and yeah, Marlin. Yeah, yeah. He's not strong. The yeah. Seagulls maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just I, I it's tough. I, I totally agree I that just feel Finding like Nemo he, deserves to be yeah. above Monsters, Inc. Yeah. I personally. Yeah. That one's a tight, that's one of those tight ones for me. Yeah. Um, Toy Story 3 over Brave? Absolutely. Coco over Up? Yes, I know that's controversial. It's hard. But. Uh, but I just, I know that Up's a beautiful movie, but let's be honest, the first 15 minutes of Up are the best part right. of that movie. It's not a bad movie overall, but Coco is a better movie consistently through, and I believe it's a more meaningful movie overall. So I gave it to Coco. Inside Out over Monsters Better U. music, too, by the way. Uh, um, no, I gave Monsters U the one up on that one. I don't even like Inside Out. I don't like Inside Out either. Monsters U was, like, not very good. Really? I thought it was kind of funny. Kind of funny. <laughs> Monsters MU was funnier than Inside Out was good <laughs> to me. So I gave it to MU. All right, and I did Wally over Finding Dory. You're probably right, though, Inside Out was better. It doesn't matter. It dies anyway. Because, uh, yes, Wally over Finding Dory, and then Wally, Wally beats over, Inside Out. Yeah. And... Monsters University, so it's irrelevant. Coco versus Wally, Wally. Wally. But um, that I I do think that is my personal preference getting in the way. I do think Coco is maybe a better movie. No, I think I think Wally's a better movie because it's it's a better told story with le it has like barely any dialogue, and I think that the meaning is really really powerful too. It is, but I don't think Visually. I don't think it's like good pacing. Maybe not. Like Maybe the beginning not. is like really slow, and I love the beginning. Yeah. But well, then Coco it's like has a fast. little bit of pacing issue as well. But not as much. Not as much. This is me trying to be objective. Me too. I I don't know. I just think that Wally is a is a really beautiful piece. Wally to me is more of a painting. Wally you know is my mean? favorite Pixar movie. Yeah, Wally's good. Wally's up there, top three. But um, anyway. By the way, guys, we just want to point out it's totally cool if you disagree. Uh, yeah. It's just like we're You're trying wrong, to be objective, but, but ultimately it's objective because it's just opinion based. <laughs> okay, other side, Disney animation side. Disney animation. Um, Hunchback over Nightmare. 
Uh, it doesn't matter. Lion King over Hunchback. Uh, Lion King Little over Mermaid Hunchback. over Tarzan. Little Mermaid over Tarzan. Aladdin over Hercules. I did Hercules over Aladdin. Dude, and I think, I think, I, I, I think don't I filled think... it out before and I did Aladdin over Hercules. Yeah. I just don't think Hercules is that strong of a movie. I think you're right. Um, Mulan over Beating the Beast. Great song, though. Um, I actually gave Beauty and the Beast the advantage. I know there. you did. Here's where it gets tricky: is I haven't been using importance to the history of animation as a thing. I In which do case, like... Beauty and the Beast would be crazy winning all over the and place. And that, if that's the case, though, then and Toy so Story Lord sweeps made. Pixar. Right. Exactly. That's so, why. I so that's why I'm not doing that. Yeah. Anyway, I just think that Beauty, Beauty and the Beast has so many plot holes. Yeah, but but I think it, Mulan is You're right. more of a boring movie. I think I'm just movie. like sick of Beauty and the Beast. Mulan has good scenes, but it's a boring no, movie. No, Mulan is an incredible movie. I don't know, man. It has Mulan good individual is incredible. scenes. Incredible. Anyway, Zootopia, uh, Lilo and Stitch over Princess and the Frog. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. Zootopia over Lilo and Stitch. Correct. Tangled over Moana. Absolutely. So hard. That's though. the tough. That was the toughest one on this list. Yeah. For sure. But I, Sarah and I, we 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 talked a little bit about it before. And Tangled is just Tangled a is really, very good. It's a really good movie. Good songs. Great pacing. It's, it's the it's the new Little Mermaid. Like incredible you know? character arcs. Yeah. Like I can't even. Um, yeah, it's really really good. Anyway, but Moana. It's, that was really hard. Yeah. Frozen over Bolt. Easy. Ralph over Big Hero Six. Yes. Which I hated that those two were paired, but it's, yeah. Um, Rap is a better movie. So then... Back up to the top. Ra okay, up to Lion the top. Lion King over Little Mermaid. Yes. Mulan over Hercules. I put Aladdin over Beauty and the Beast, so it's fine. Fine. Um, Which is arguable, by the way. I just... I just think Aladdin. It Aladdin, doesn't matter Aladdin was, Lion King wins. Right? I know, but but Aladdin I feel is stronger than Beauty and the Beast simply because it was like still like a princess style movie, but with like a male protagonist, but it didn't feel like a masculine movie, if you know what I'm saying. Right. So I kind of thought that was kind of neat. Um, but whatever, Lion King wins it out Anyways, for the final four. That whole place. bracket, a lot, uh, Lion King wins. Um, Tangled over Ralph. Uh, Tangled over Zootopia. Wait, over Ralph. Tangled over Zootopia. Yes. Ralph over Frozen. Right. And then tangled, tangled over, over Ralph. Ralph. Right. So the final four for me were Finding Nemo, Wally, uh, Tangled, Lion King. Yes. For me, it was Monsters Inc., Wally, Tangled, Lion King. Very equal. Very close. Yeah. And then the ultimate winner is Lion. So Lion then, King. wait, who wins between Monsters Inc. and Wally? And or for you, Finding Nemo and Wally. Yeah. For me, I Monsters think... Inc. beats Wally. Again, again, just as an enjoyable movie, I think right. Monsters Inc. is more enjoyable. Um, so I put that the winner, and then obviously Lion King beats Tangled, and then Lion King beats Monsters Inc. for the ultimate win. For me, Finding Nemo beats Wally, Lion King beats Tangled, Lion King beats Finding Nemo. So Lion King mm. wins overall. Lion King wins. The thing is, I love Wally so much, but I don't, I don't think it's the best Pixar movie. No. It's just my favorite Pixar right. movie. Anyway, Lion King wins. Yeah. I just think, I just think, in my opinion, Monsters Inc. is the most balanced Pixar movie between like silly, fun, enjoyable, funny, well done, mm -hmm. creative, well executed. You know, it's just like a good balanced film. Um, there's a lot of different versions of this going around now. There's a version that includes pre-90s movies. People are fighting about Bugs Life in the chat. Um, it's not a bad movie, but it's not good It's definitely as good as not top else. five Pixar. Uh, someone's saying that Bugs Life has some good female representation. It sure does. Well, yeah. that's because Ant, it would be a bad representation of Ant communities if they didn't have female, female in, in the lead. Anyway. Ants everywhere would be offended. Yeah, ants would be offended. Insect, what do you call someone insect who studies ants. insects? Um, an ornit, wait, wait, that's a bird. Um, Insectologists. Yeah, I forget what it is. Um, anyway, so that was fun. I've been begging Leo to fill it out I just think while. it's like, I'm like, it's pointless, Lion King, man. Yeah, Lion King's just like the best movie ever. Yeah, I'm like going through it in my head. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. If not, the outcome is right. There could be some things I could I could go back I could flip flop. It's just crazy. Like I've been, like, I like want this to be over already, just because like I keep seeing people's brackets that they post, and I'm just like, you have like Zootopia <laughs> winning this whole thing. Really? Yeah, and I'm like, what? If you have Zootopia winning this whole thing, um, I respect your opinion. Just don't hang out with me. Or like people have Coco winning the whole thing. And I'm like, Coco is wonderful. You can't let like, emotions carry you. You can't let the most recent thing <laughs> sway you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Entomologist, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Um, anyways, what else we got? <laughs> Sorry, I'm That's just that. like so random. Mostly, mostly, how do you guys feel? What are your faves? Let us know in the chat. What would have won for you? 
just type it in right now as we move on. So, Leah, remember um, when we went to Disney After Dark? Oh, uh, you know what? Correction. High School Musical. Is the winner. If a Goofy movie were in there, it'd be over. <laughs> uh, yes, I remember when we went to Disney After Dark, Sarah. It was throwback night. They announced the next event in this series, Star Wars Night, on May Surprise. the 4th. Um, we always knew, though. Well, when they originally announced this series of events, they said, like, look forward to future events, including, like, things like Star Wars, you know? So we mm -hmm. knew it was going to happen. <laughs> like Star Wars, a.k.a. the next one is Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. um, I think that is a cool theme. I thought throwback was cool, but it felt a little empty. Uh, Star Wars, I think there's a lot more to work with, um, a lot more atmosphere that they could potentially build that stands out, because Disney basically was Disney-themed Disney Day. It's like, well, it's all right. the park's already Disney-themed because it is Disney. Uh, but Star Wars, you can dress things up a little better. You can have stormtroopers walking around a little bit more actively. Right. I, sorry, it's not on May the 4th. It's on May the 3rd, but it'll go over until May the 4th. It's less subtle to say. Um, um, it'll be a little bit more overt of a theme. And also, uh, I thought the vintage thing was cool, but I've seen that a million times at Dapper Day. It'll right. be neat to see Star Wars attire at the parks. Well, yeah, I mean, the question remains, will go? people be allowed to wear costumes to this event? Mm -hmm. I hope so. I think that would be cool. I think that would be really cool. I think it's uh, I think it's because it's a special ticketed event, right. they can allow it. Yeah, I you think they mean? should. They can control it a little easier. Um, it's not as big of a crowd. The These experiences are starting after... Um, Disney After Dark, but you, if you go, will be the first to experience the March of the First Order and be able to be the first people to meet Rey in the Star Wars launch bay. Mm. Rey face character Not coming. a fan of her hair. Well, okay, like, it's a lace front. What are you going to do? Make a better wig. They're Disney. <laughs> they can figure it out. Um, and Hyperspace Mountain is coming back. Hey. I know, like, some people, I like Hyperspace Mountain. I thought, my, I thought it was cool. I like the uh, TIE fighter in it. Um, themed decor, Star Wars themed photo opportunities. In my head, I think they're probably going to bring out the photo ops that they have for the Disney races, the Star Wars Disney races, because mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. already have those. And they're really good photo ops. There's ones where you can be, it makes it look like you're hanging upside down in the ice, like Luke. Oh, that's cool. They have that one. They have the one where the walls what are do you coming mean races? in. races? The Disney races, the run Disney events. Oh, they oh, have oh, these oh, photo ops oh, already oh, made oh, for those. I was thinking like the races in the Star Wars. You no. know, I'm like, and like, you're like Jawas. Yeah. And <laughs> I've never gotten Gungans. to take photos at those things because I never stop to take photos. You're just a machine, Because I'm just running. Um, but I, I feel like that's what they're going to be using, which would be really cool because they are really cool photo ops. Um, complimentary photo pass, mm. uh, blah, 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 all this stuff. It'll be interesting to see who's out and about and, uh, and like, in the costume thing is a big one. Like what just, else are they going to dress up to? Like, does Fantasyland, or is it all in Tomorrowland? No, you know? I think it'll, you can go everywhere, but I think most things will be happening, like, in, in certain areas, yeah. Based on, like, my Facebook, a lot of people we know are going to this one who didn't go to Throwback Night. Oh, it makes more sense. I mean, if you go to Dapper Day. I'm sure, like, the 501 and all those people are going oh, to this. Oh, I didn't even think about that. And, by the way, nothing against the 501, but, uh, they're, you know. Intense. They're intense. Yeah. Um, yeah. So update for annual pass Battle holders. Six, you, they, annual pass holders had the opportunity to get tickets before everyone else uh, yesterday, and all the AP tickets are sold out. And so tickets will go on sale for the general public what day? The 29th tomorrow. There you go. So if you're interested in going, do that. Here's what I have to say about Disneyland After Dark. Regardless of the theme, if you are someone who like doesn't get to go to Disneyland that often, Disneyland After Dark events are a really good time to go because you can enter at 6 p.m. and go until, what, 1 a.m.? Yeah. Seven hours of time with no lines for any no rides. Lines. So it's like a better time to visit the park than any regular day. Mm -hmm. If you, like, take a nap and you're down to stay till 1 a.m., you get way more for the same amount of money as a day ticket right, 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 for this right. event. Uh, so people are asking, what is the 501? So the 501st is a group of uh, Star Wars. It's like a very uh, rule-heavy group of Star Wars costumers where all of the costumes are movie accurate and you have to apply and you have to be graded and be allowed into the 501st. Once in, you get invited to special events like charity works, hospital things, parades, uh, and you have to do like one or two a year in order to stay a member. But you get to do all these kind of cool events, some of them with Lucasfilm and things on like that and so on and so forth. Um, what I'm wondering is, do you think they'll bring all the characters from Star Wars Weekend out? 
Remember a lot of those characters? You know that, first of all, they have the action figure photo ops, which are kind of cool. They also have uh, more characters out for the races. The characters are out. Yeah, I just think, like Ahsoka, someone's pointing out in the chat, Ahsoka or Ezra. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, they literally had a BB-8 meet, meet and greet yeah. at the Disney. I have Disney. a feeling all those characters are going to pop out. Also, they had a stage show for Star Wars Weekends. I wonder if that will have some sort of representation. Well, can they just let adults participate in Jedi Training Academy? Oh, my God, for once, please. <laughs> that would be, like, everyone's dream. Imagine um, them swinging a the lightsaber at Vader, though. They could, like, crack him in the head. Anyway, sadly, Leo and I are both not able to go to this event. It's a bummer. Um, so we won't be there, but I'm Why very not, sad Sarah? about it. Uh, well, you're filming a thing, oh. and I'm going to a wedding. Out of state. Oh, it's that weekend. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you forgot why we're not Tokyo. Yeah. You thought yeah. we were in Tokyo? Yeah, I thought yeah. that was <laughs> No, Leo and I are going to Tokyo Disneyland in, like, a month, so that's happening. Yeah, so... Um, That's cool. I mean, I think it's a good theme to kick things off, really, because the first one was sort of like a trial, I feel. Uh, this one, they can lean a little bit more heavily into it. It'll be interesting to see what they do. I'm really sad I can't go, honestly. Yeah. Like, very, very bummed. Um, but uh, if you do go, let me know. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, moving on. Uh, we know that Toy Story Land is coming to Disney World. But we have not talked very much about how it is coming to Shanghai Disneyland and opening next month. Oh. So we have some pictures. We just missed it. Here's the Slinky Coaster. We missed it by like a year. Mm -hmm. um, here's the Slinky Coaster. Here is the RC... I'm thing. hesitant to call it a coaster. It's a, like the back and forth thing. I hate that thing. I can't go on that kind of thing. You hate everything. I if hate it doesn't move at zero miles no, an hour. No, I hate going backwards. You know that's my oh number my one gosh. thing. That's why I like don't go on Everest and I can hardly handle it's frozen. It's why your car has been parked for seven years in the garage because you can't pull out. I can't out. back out. Yeah. Anyway, and here's this little kid bullseye ride. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Toe mater. Junkyard oh. jamboree. Is that what it is? Well, it's like the same ride, same basically. Ride. Oh, so excited. So... You say, oh, I'm so excited <laughs> yeah. for that? Could you not hint, hint, hear the hint of oh, slash sarca S? Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Right. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking I will never ride that process. Maybe I'll ride it one day when there's no line. It's not a ride for At me. At Shanghai? We going back to Shanghai? Yeah. Okay. We're we'll rich and famous and ballers. Okay. 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 Um... Yeah, so it's happening soon. Honestly, though, in, in, in China, that's going to be like a huge hit. They, they, they like slow rides. Oh, yeah, they do. They like slow ones. I feel like the, there's going to be no line for that RC coaster yeah, thing. Too much, too intense. Too intense. It's a weird thing about uh, China. We, we were When we were there, um, we were informed that thrill rides are a little bit intense culturally, so they prefer like slower, easier going rides. So that's the why line, there's... The, so like, here's an example. The line for Tron, like 40 minutes max. Yeah, the line like no... for Soren was four six hours, hours. Six hours. Yeah. For Soren, you guys, over Tron. The same Soren that we have. The same exact Soren. Actually, weirder, because you're led on the trip by a shaman who turns into a moth. It's she turns into like a hawk. She turns into a bunch of weird Whatever. things. Yeah, but she's like, the stars will guide you to the ancient land. Get on the ride. And then you go on, and you're like, everyone's like, yeah! And I'm they like, like it because it's mm. like a pretty, it's cool technology, but it's not like thrilling, right, right, but it's right. like cool. It doesn't shake you up. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Anyways. What else? What else? What else? That's it, man. I like the theming. I like the way they're looking. You do? Yeah. I think they're cool looking rides. It's very Toy Story. Yeah, I dig it. Look at the Tinker Toys. Well, the world let me have it. Looks like a fun land. I was living the life. Things were just the way they should be. Okay, man. You need to chill out. Um... Looking out of the blue. Okay, all right. All right, <laughs> all right. Little rocket. <laughs> and all of a sudden, some strange things are happening to me. Strange things, things are, are happening, happening to me. me. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this is copyright infringement. <laughs> uh, well, no, trust me. No one's claiming that that's an accurate representation of that song. Um, someone asked, is Tron really that fast? It's no. It's all right. It's not like super it's fast. It's not that fast. That's the point. It's not that even, it's not even that crazy. Um... <laughs> Yeah, kids playing with the toy box. That's a great theme. I like it. It's like your mini. It's kind of like uh, Shrunk Land, but with toys. You know, yeah. Shrunk Land. Yeah, y'all miss land. Bugs Land? Go to Shanghai. Get shrunk. Get shrunk. Get shook and shrunk. Um, what else we got? That's it. That's it? You want to talk about anything? Um, is there anything you guys want us to talk about? I feel like I'm forgetting Strange. something that happened. You guys want us to do a cover of Strange Things? Um, 
Uh, I'm doing Veda next month. Get ready. That's not news. <laughs> this isn't <laughs> Sarah movie news. Sarah movie? What did you say? <laughs> what? Nothing. Don't worry about oh, it. Okay. Um, yeah. They are shoving Toy Story down our throats, but it's a great, I mean, it sells toys. Well, what's weird is it's kind of random. You know what I mean? It is. Like, since when did Toy Story become such a high priority concept? When they had three movies. Yeah, but that was 2010. It's 2018 now. Yeah, but you still know all about it. Boos Lightyear. Boos. And Woody Boos Lightyear. and Jesse. They're all like very popular. It's like Mickey Mouse. It's like Mickey Mouse. It's line. extremely popular, but Mickey it's Mickey Mouse like, hasn't had a movie in like a bajillion years. It's crazy. Well, he has shorts. That's not a movie. It's crazy Toy that Story they're like do, giving it its own land. You know what I mean? Yeah, but for Pixar, it's like their premier property. No, Literally, Cars is. They already have Cars Land. Not everywhere. They're yeah. putting Toy Story Land in like every park. Yeah, but there's park. no Toy Story Land. They need to create an appeal for people to travel to to see something new. They already have Toy Story Land in Hong Kong. Yeah. Now they have it in Shanghai. It's going to Florida, and we're getting Pixar Pier with the Toy Story neighborhood. There's a lot of Toy Story. <laughs> Maybe toys are more popular in Asia than cars. Toy Story 4 is happening. That's oh, yeah, that's right. Toys, yeah. See? Investment in the future. Right, but like, you know. It, they're going to keep it going, and then it's going to get an animated series like Tangled. And then there's like a line of merchandise. God, like Cars also has merchandise. Toy animated series. I'd watch it. And you can introduce new toys all the time. Okay, babe. <laughs> when you were a kid, did you think your toys came to life after seeing Toy Story? I didn't think I knew. You knew? Yeah, because I would play with them and they would come to life in my oh mind. My God. And then sometimes, because I would like hang my stuffed animals on the wall and then they would do this. It's terrifying. You didn't do that? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I didn't I thought... live in a haunted house. Uh, no, shut up. Everybody's did that. Shut up. Stop. Yours didn't do that? Stop. I thought that, that's totally normal. Stop. He's trolling You're me. You're the weird one. He's trolling me. Not me. I used to have conversations with Buddy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story will never die. It's true because they're toys. <laughs> I just saw you yeah. punch it on me. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw it too. <laughs> no, there's not. Oh, there's, a, there's It was like a light year. Light. Year. Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> no. Um, do we want to talk about Bugs Land somewhere? Because people keep bringing it up. <laughs> Bye. There's one person who keeps tweeting at me being like, see, they should have kept Bugs Land. And it's Why? like related to something totally irrelevant. Uh, that's literally the nature of 99% of the internet. Um, yeah, bye, Bugs. I don't care. Like, I think it's cool. You had your time. You were a neat theme. Um, here comes something cooler that everyone can enjoy instead of two-year-olds only. Yikes, Zeke. What horrors did Woody and the gang witness during Andy's teenage years? They, were, they weren't there for that. Oh, yeah, they were. Yeah, they, they were. <laughs> they were under they the They saw bench. some strange <laughs> things. They were happening. <laughs> they, were in, they were in the toy box. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy. Oh, my God, Andy. Look, I'm Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> That's okay, my impression. Sure. Do you want to do a Toy Story impression? Um, I don't. I can't do any. You can't do any. I mean, I know like there's a snake in my boots, but that's all. And okay. your angry eyes, just in case. That was my Mrs. Potato. <laughs> oh, I was like, what character was that? And your angry eyes. <laughs> just sound Jewish. That's all she is. Just do your. I don't have to try to sound Jewish. Yes, you do. You I have to do am that stereotypical Jewish. Jewish accent. Do it. She doesn't have a New Jersey accent. Yes, she Your does. mother. That? Yeah, that's how she talks. No, she doesn't. That's not how she talks. She totally is a Jewish potato. She's a, she's a Jewish spud. Jewish spud. I'm a married spud. I'm a married spud. <laughs> Guys, covering the important facts here on Disney News Weekly, is Mrs. Potato Head Jewish? Who's their voice actress? Let's find that out. Oh, my God. Um, what other impressions can yeah, I do? I'll look it up right now. Uh, Miss Potato. Hey, Woody. I don't know. Can what you do a Joan Cusack? Miss Potato Head. Hi! Voice. Okay. That was a pretty good hey in Joan Cusack's voice. Hey! Oh, she is totally. Come on. Estelle okay. Harris. Oh, isn't that the mom on Everybody Loves Raymond? Yes. <laughs> Super Jewish. <laughs> like the most Jewish actress of all time. <laughs> the most Jewish actress of, of all, all time. time. That's I don't a bad think middle. So. I think uh, Barbara Streisand. Is yeah, Barbara Streisand. Jewish That's actress, actress of all time. She's in the top three. Um. Yeah. Uh, you, yeah, you no, can't do any uh, Toy Story? Well, because it's like none of them stand out. It's like Tom Hanks. I can't do an impression of him. I can't do an impression of Woody Allen. I mean, uh, Woody uh, Allen. Tim Allen, sorry. Tim Allen. Um, uh, I can't do, what's his name? Um, Ham, what's the, Rath, Ratzenberger. Ratzenberger. Um, I can't do the guy from Princess Life. That inconceivable, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah the Rex. The Rex, Rex guy. Nice. 
Yeah, I'm not. I guess none of those. I can't do Toy Story voices hey, in my life. What shoot is it? as much as you want. You can't run out. That's from Toy Story Mania. <laughs> <laughs> they all just, they're just like regular sounding people. Hey! Jim Varney, isn't he the Slinky Dog? No, we can't. I don't Slinky. I, I can do a good witty when Slinky closes the window on him. Slinky! <laughs> um, you get points for intonation and um, <laughs> the proper... Uh, but you don't sound like Tom Hanks. I um, am Mrs. Nesbitt. <laughs> <laughs> what about Sid? You can't do a good Sid. Uh, what, what does Sid sound like? Tomorrow's forecast. Tomorrow's. Sid nah, I can't do it. He's Sid. too young. <clears throat> Bo Peep. Do the aliens. Ooh. Ooh. That's cheating. The cloth. The claw chooses who will go and who yeah. will stay. Definitely not my strong suit Toy Story. <laughs> I'm Barbie. <laughs> That's your Jody Brunson impression? That's my Jody Brunson. I'm Barbie. Uh, Bruce Lightyear. You Lightier. love Emily. She's an artist. <laughs> when she's got that messed up face. <laughs> we should just do it. Remember the time Disney edition. Woody's Roundup. Um, right here every day. Anyway, what, what else? Know? What else can we talk about? That's it, man. Is that That's it? it. Is that it That's us? the news. That's the news. All right, we'll close this out then. I wanna, okay. <laughs> Go for it. You're the host tonight. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. Um, thanks for watching this episode of Disney News Weekly. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And, uh, you know, leave a comment if you want, telling us how we're doing. And oh, you know what we can do? You want to rap? No, not going to rap, but I'll okay. give some shout outs. Shout out to Jaw Movies. Shout out to Super Iron Halo. To Natasha Reddy. Madeline Natasha Reddy, of course. Dominique DeLuna. Darlene2319. She's a droid. Um, Aiden Talia, of course. Bamboo72. Allison Scott. Four, nine. I wasn't done giving all of Bamboo's numbers, okay? <laughs> Emily Tanya Lewis. W. I'm doing the Woody's Roundup right now. Oh, here's it. Um, uh, what is it? How does the song go? Woody's Roundup. Right here every day. Woody's, Woody's Roundup. Roundup. Come on, it's time to play. We There's got the Super Iron Halo down. and the Jaws movies. <laughs> Carly Monteith. He's and Woody's Manet horse. <laughs> <laughs> Carly. He's the old prospector. Ah, uh, you're the uh, you're. you're and Woody's Woody, horse. the man of self. Of course, it's time for Woody's roundup. Ricardo He's Sandoval, Elena Lisset, Samik Fernandez too. Anyways. There's a shout out to Woody Roundup. Yay. Poorly, poorly that was so good. We should do an album. Anyway, <laughs> follow Popcorn Talk on Twitter at the Popcorn Talk and on YouTube at Popcorn Talk Network. Wait, hey, Tony. Hey, Tony. Yeah. What'd you get for your bracket? Oh, oh yeah, dude. I was squirming in my seat every day when I heard you guys going. <laughs> why didn't you pop up? I really oh, forgot to ask you. Oh, that's why you were quiet. No, I no, no, no. I feel so, like, inadequate for this. <laughs> just tell us your top four. <laughs> And top your four. final. Oh, God. All right. yeah, yeah. Get ready to roll your eyes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> All right. Top four. So uh, top left is uh, Toy Story. Oh, there you go. That's bottom good. left is uh, Coco. Okay. All right. Top right is Hercules. <laughs> All right. And bottom, bottom right is Lilo and Stitch. You know what? I like how you view movies. <laughs> and what's your number one? Toy Story. That's the first, like, one of the but first. See, but but we did movies. say. We did say Toy Story deserves to be on this list if you look at it from that point of view. Yeah. Um, I'm really in, I'm really into the fact that you love Lilo and Stitch and Coco so much, my my man. Oh yeah, my dude. I, love, I love those. And 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 the Herculoids, that's pretty cool. Yeah, anything with like like a little bit of sci-fi thrown in there, I'm all, I'm all for. So it. I'm not Big Hero Six though. Or well, yeah, I actually Wreck It Ralph took. I, I enjoyed Wreck It Ralph more, more than. Yeah, I Hero. I am yeah. with you on that one. The, yeah. the video game references just top it all. Yeah. Well, let's see if the new one can can top this one. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Yeah. Make sure you follow us on all the social. Yeah, I'm Sarah Sterling underscore on Twitter. Sarah G. Sterling on Instagram. Yep, and I'm Mr. Leo Zombie on Instagram and Leo Zombie on Twitter. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. That was a blast. What a yeah. fun episode. Thanks for joining us for Date Night on Disney News Weekly. We love you. Our producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Popcorn Talk Network. We would like to thank you for tuning in. For questions or comments, be sure to visit PopcornTalk.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of the Popcorn Talk Network. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Popcorn Talk Network or its owners or principals.